All right, how's it going guys? Uh, my name is ISC and I am going to be doing a few more council reviews again today. Uh, we got a whole new batch of four ones to do, including my own, so again I'm not going to cover mine. Um, but the first track I'm going to be doing today is Stereo Madness by G-Force. Uh, this track is a geometry dash based track and um, I don't know a whole lot about geometry dash so I can't really speak too much to the theme like of that kind of game itself. But what's here is really, really nice. I personally really like this track. Um, I like the environment and theme a lot. There were also a lot of other people that expressed that theme and environment were great. And I agree. I think it looks really pretty. Has the nice little color gradient change. Nice transitions. Uh, I would say maybe like there's a little bit of weirdness with some of the, um, what do you call it, translucency? like. There's some issues where you can't see certain things through tra the translucent textures, and I wish that were a little bit better. But beyond that, I think this is like A+. I think this is really, really good. And the idea of a Geometry Dash-based track is really good. So I already think it's going off on a good start for that. Uh, I would honestly not really even change that much. Maybe add a few more things from Geometry Dash in here. But I don't know anything about it, so I can't really say too much about it. Uh, what's present here is good, though. So that's a really good part of it. Uh, in terms of gameplay and driving, that's a little bit different. I personally really, really like this track from the gameplay and driving standpoint. Uh, there's a lot of unique tech and strats here, and I think the changes that he made too um, a long time ago, one of them being like uh, making the mushroom pads all 100% consistent no matter where you hit them, is really, really cool. Um, but the major concerns for me, there's nothing like too bad for me to say no to this track. I said fix this personally, but the things I would maybe consider changing are these spikes. Not that they're like, be them being out of bounds is bad per se, it's just the fact that they're in spots that are a little blind and can, t can very easily kill you in an online room, uh, especially if it's your first time playing the track. So it could be very unfriendly, which is okay. It's just that like, they're in weird spots and sometimes you could get bumped into them. Uh, like some examples being, like this is something that I would recommend changing to this bottom route uh, When you go down there, you can go down through the middle instead There's some spikes along there that make this route really really hard to take naturally these spikes too uh, I know it's supposed to be a hard shortcut. They're just like they make that shortcut almost impossible to take unless you're like pr super duper duper precise or like using a vehicle other than flame runner, which is not a deal uh, The shortcut itself with the shrimp cut is really good there though. I would not change that at all um, yeah, there's some other spikes up here too, for example, along this turn. Uh, yeah, just this one that I just passed by, this one here. They're a little blind, and they're also, like, in a little awkward positions. Part of the translucency makes it harder to see them too, so. And, yeah, otherwise I think they're great. Definitely keep the ones that are after the mushroom tricks. Those are great. But, um, in terms of, uh, other things to say... The shroomless cut, which is not meant to be a shroomless cut, apparently, I think I think it was a mistake, but you can do the shroomless, like, or you can do the sh uh, shortcut along the cliff or, like, wall of bricks back there, shroomless, which is fine. I like it personally, especially since there's another shroom cut, so I think it ended up being more dynamic than intended. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, you can sometimes clip the sides of those and not die, which is also a problem with the <laughs> out-of-bounds setup, but... Uh, let me see if I can get it real fast. I think it's a cool shortcut. I would personally just make it so it's more consistent. Yeah, see, I couldn't even do anything there. Uh, what ends up happening is what you want to do is get to the very edge of the tr the uh, ramp on the very like right side and jump trick it with your boost. And you can just make it across pretty easy. It's very free. It's just like the way that it's set up right now means you have like random accidents that happen because it's not sticky to the bottom. I would just sticky the bottom of the ramp and make the top part trickable and then it'll be perfect because then you won't fly over it. It's just because they're like 45 degree angle ramps. That is something to change too for sure and it would help the track a lot, make it way more consistent in my opinion because it can happen on those ramps too that I just went over this one at the end too. Like sometimes you just get unintended like flying off of it because it's a little too high angled. But otherwise, 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 I think everything else is really good here. I personally don't think there's too much more to change. I like the layout. 
There are people that were complaining about it being like very trick heavy, like a lot of tricks. I don't think that's fair at all. I think that's kind of a dumb way to look at tracks, but it's okay. <laughs> it's a little reductive, I mean to say, not dumb, but yeah, I even like the cannon. I personally do really like this track. I would say just polish those things, and this one is just easily really good in my opinion. People might suggest like you completely revamp the layout into like a one lap track or something crazy. I don't think it needs to be that at all. I think what you got here is really solid and sturdy and drives pretty fun. Um, so yeah, I think it's really cool. I'd love to see more tracks like this in the future too from GeForce. Um, I think you did a great job. Nice.